It's always fun to look at new software updates because a lot of them have unique features that nobody has ever thought of and sometimes those exclusive features can turn out to be extremely useful. That's exactly how I felt after using Oppo's new ColorOS 12 update. I was lucky enough to be able to partner up with Oppo and get the chance to review the new ColorOS 12 in the first place. ColorOS 12's core foundation is based on Android 12 and it includes many unique features, UI tweaks, and a good amount of performance improvements. Plus, that's not even mentioning all of the native Android 12 features and stock Android experience that it comes with. So let's go over everything that is new within ColorOS 12 and drop a thumbs up if you're looking forward to getting this update on your Oppo phone. Also, if you like what you see, consider subscribing with the notification bell turned on because quality content like this is a weekly thing on the channel and you're not going to want to miss out. Let's start with the biggest and most noticeable change. ColorOS 12 refines and simplifies most of the UI and some system apps to provide a cleaner and uncluttered look. This new design concept is based around inclusivity to make ColorOS 12 synchronize with you and your lifestyle, and I honestly love the new looks. Within the settings app, they've increased the spacing, made the fonts larger with higher contrast, increased the size of the app's title, and color coordinated everything to create a hierarchy system. In other words, bright colors are used to highlight primary information, while dark colors are used for secondary information. This new framework makes it easier for you, the user, to navigate the app and to be able to find any information that you're looking for much more quickly. Other Oppo apps like the clock, compass, photos, and recorder follow this simplified layout. Many of them even have the buttons and menus drop down towards the bottom now to make the screen easier to use with one hand. Plus, ColorOS is now optimized in more than 70 languages with very accurate and concise UI text, a job well done with a new framework. On top of that, ColorOS 12 follows Google's footsteps in using wallpaper-based themes. That means your settings, quick settings, system apps, and other subtle system elements will match the same colors from your wallpaper. Plus, to start you off right, Oppo has included a new set of beautiful walls that take your home screen to the next level. Each one is abstract themed, and they honestly look great with whatever custom icons and widgets you choose to use. ColorOS 12 also introduced a new app called Emoji, and as you can guess from the title, it lets you create 3D animated emojis. You can choose to customize it with over 200 stylistic accessories, including changing the skin color, hairstyle, eyes, nose, accessories, and more. Plus, the emoji will mimic your facial movements and expressions in real time. According to Oppo, the facial information is processed in less than 10 milliseconds and rendering takes just 20 milliseconds, providing the smoothest experience when making fun and silly faces. After you're done creating your emoji, you can use it as your profile picture for your Oppo account, cover your face with it within video calls, edit to your always on display, send it to your friends through chat and more. It's a fantastic feature to make your profile picture a bit more personal and fun while still keeping you private. Just a disclaimer though, emoji won't be available till December at the earliest and it will only be available in selected regions. Oppo will provide more updates in the future on emoji, so stay tuned. Customization for the always on display has been greatly expanded with a ton more content that you can use, including new digital clocks, analog clocks, animated images, and even use your emoji. They also have an awesome new feature called Portrait Silhouette, which lets you have anyone's face outlined on your always on display. It works really well and all you need to do is select a selfie that you took and the AI will outline the main parts of your face. I found it to make it easier to differentiate your phone from others while the screen is off. Moving on, Android 12 has brought about a ton of privacy changes and ColorOS 12 has integrated every single one. They even created some of their own. Starting with the phone manager app, they improved it to better secure your device and privacy. Before you only had six different options, but now you get a ton more spread throughout two new tabs. The Home tab provides an overall security score based on your current settings and gives you access to your frequently used security functions, while the Tool tab is a library filled with a ton of privacy and security features. ColorOS 12 also comes with a new privacy feature called Anti-Peeping Notification, and I thought this was by far the coolest feature. It uses an AI smart sensor on your phone to detect when someone is looking at your screen. If it detects that someone is peeping from the side, it'll automatically hide the details of any incoming notification so that nothing gets exposed. An extremely useful feature, especially if you have nosy roommates or relatives. Within the settings under the privacy section, there's now a new submenu called Privacy Dashboard, which lets you know what permissions were being used in the past 24 hours and what apps had been using them. From there, you can choose to revoke the permissions easily. Whenever an app uses the camera or microphone, even in the background or foreground, a green dot will appear in the right corner to let you know. 
When apps request to use your location, you can now give them an approximate one instead of a more precise one. And you can quickly stop all apps from using the microphone or camera straight from the quick settings with two new tiles. Simple as that. Finally, ColorOS 12 has a ton of under the hood changes that we as the user take for granted, but they are essential for improving the performance and smoothness of the software. ColorOS 12 is dedicated to providing the smoothest experience for their users, and they have made it. For one, the animations have been greatly improved thanks to Oppo's new Quantum Animation Engine 3.0. This AI engine gives items on the screen a feeling of inertia for physically accurate animations. For example, when you move a floating window on the screen, the window will keep moving even after your finger leaves the display, gradually coming to a stop as if it's battling against virtual resistance. Small changes like this improve the bigger picture. And there's a new AI system booster that's enabled by default and it analyzes how you use your phone to accurately identify the processes needed to ensure apps run even smoother. It's beneficial for gamers. With this new feature, Oppo claims that they have been able to reduce RAM by up to 30%, prolong battery life by up to 12%, and deliver an overall aging rate of just 2.75% over 36 months for your storage speeds. Oppo has listened to the users and they implemented the most wanted feature. ColorOS 12 now allows you to connect and mirror your phone to your computer with their new upcoming app called PC Connect. Not only will you be able to see your phone screen on your laptop, but you'll also be able to drag and drop data between both devices. And this includes the clipboard, which does come in handy if you're creating slides or don't know how to share a long URL. You'll also be notified on your PC about any notifications or incoming calls from your smartphone and if you're watching a video on your phone, you can full screen it on your PC for a more comfortable watching experience. PC Connect isn't available yet, but Oppo has confirmed that it will be available in February 2022 at the latest. Another neat feature that I loved using is called FlexDrop. This lets you turn almost any app into a floating window by simply swiping it to the top of the screen. It's much quicker and easier than needing to go into the Recents menu. I even love that when you launch the app into a window, it starts as a miniature version, so it doesn't get in the way of the app, you want to open up next. From there, you can resize it by dragging its corners. There's also a new smart sidebar that you can slide in from the edge of the screen to do contextual actions or launch specific apps. You can launch Google Lens to quickly translate whatever's on your screen. Plus dragging an app outside of this menu will open it in split screen mode. I even love that this menu's options change based on what app you're currently using. As I said, the system settings received a major UI change with everything being simpler and cleaner but if we take a deeper look, even some of the menus within the settings receive significant UI changes. The accessibility menu, for example, now categorizes its submenus as tabs at the top to make it easier to find what you're looking for. Plus, they've now integrated 22 new accessibility features. For example, I love the color vision enhancement tool that automatically adjusts the screen colors to help those with color blindness have an easier time viewing the colors on their screen. On top of that, I even love that some accessibility features now have an illustrative GIF to clearly show how to use it and to tell you what it does. I for one didn't even know what the time to take action menu did until an animation clearly showed me that I could change how long incoming banner notifications should stay on my screen. Pretty useful. The battery menu also got a considerable redesign. There's a big green bar at the top that clearly shows me the current battery level and I even get suggestions for optimizations that can help improve my battery life. Things like turning off power draining apps or changing certain settings. It comes in handy if you're not sure why your battery is draining so fast. On the topic of battery drain, ColorOS 12 will also notify you when an app or activity is consuming abnormal amounts of power and will give you the option to close those power draining apps for a prolonged battery life. Pretty useful, but apparently these power consumption notifications won't be available until December at the earliest. One last thing I wanted to mention about the battery menu is that it now displays a chart of your power usage from the last 24 hours. It makes it a lot easier to learn how much power has been consumed throughout the day and what services or apps are using up the battery. Anyways, that's mostly everything you need to know about Oppo's new ColorOS 12 update. It's a juicy one with over 100 new features and I can't wait for you all to try it out for yourselves. Again, if it weren't for Oppo, I wouldn't have been able to review the software, so a huge shout out to them. If you found this video to be useful, a quick thumbs up would mean the world to me since it will help the video get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. However, if you love what you saw, why not get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? As I said, quality content like this is a weekly thing on the channel and you're not going to want to miss out. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!